What's up? So despite us both having very luscious, full beards and near identical accents, you may have noticed that I'm not crypt. If you're completely unfamiliar with my content, I go by CDTV Productions on YouTube and I have this series where I look at the 10 fastest verses from different rappers. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be covering your boy Crypt, who has quite a few fast ones. And just in case you haven't watched any of these videos before, because I know this is going up on Crypt's channel, the speeds are calculated over the 10 fastest seconds within the song to get a peak syllables per second count. So with that being said, thank you to Crypt for featuring me on his channel. This is CDTV Productions, and let's take a look at the 10 fastest Crypt verses. <laughs> Success is the best of friends, it's so I plan to end it I would never let a woman try to score what I was doing I'll be doing it, no other you can do it I know what to do with the ruin, what you're doing with the riddles So flow it up through it time and time again My license I depend, I write my rhymes and then your demise It's here, we'll never find you again While the clouds you ascend against the world This song came from the video Joined Red Reserve That was uploaded to celebrate Crypt Funnily enough, joining Red Reserve, one of the largest gaming slash esports organizations in the world. In the track, he details his journey to get there and how it was such a big achievement for him. It's pretty heartfelt stuff. And following that up, straight away we have the only other full blown emotional track on this list. This one is all about how Crypt was feeling following a breakup with his girlfriend after three years of being together. A situation he actually mentioned also on the previous song on this list. As you can imagine, there's just a lot of passion poured into this one. That is just number 10 on our list, and we're already getting crazy rhyme schemes and swift rapping. I'm not gonna lie though, one of my favourite parts of this track is the bridge section following the hook where Crypt is imitating and kinda poking fun at typical mainstream rap topics, because that part, it actually sounds pretty catchy. I know the purpose of it is to make fun of lyrics like that, but the way it's delivered is stuck in my head. That combined with the hard ass verses makes for a solid song. So um, this one was a diss track against the blind man. It's, it's not as bad as it sounds though, it was all in good spirit as it came from the diss crypt series, where people submit diss tracks targeted at crypt and he would respond to the best one. In this case, the best one was by the rapper Blindsight, who in his music video for his diss, took crypt's eyes out with a drill after he dissed them. So that was nice. Then Crypt fired back with this track over the kill shot beat, but it was all in the name of friendly competition and entertainment. In fact, they've even collaborated recently on a track called Rise Up, released around four months after the diss. <laughs> If, for some reason, I ever make a product one day, I'm gonna ask Crypt to promote it through a song, cause I'm not gonna lie, this one kinda makes me wanna get an Ewen chair, and I've never even considered buying something like that prior to this. And let's not ignore the fact that he dropped a well put together verse here about a goddamn chair. It's a chair. What are you supposed to say about it? Somehow he found a way to make an entertaining verse about it, advertising it nicely, and showcasing a very quick flow while doing it. I woke up this morning and I was in a state of panic because the gaps of the soul was closing and I had to make a stand and my plan was to make as many understand that you're the man with the fandom that is the fandom since the anthem they can brand us. They got a companion in me, you won't abandon them any. Join the army, you promise that we'll continue with sending. These series is overextending. It's welcome, so help them by ending the run. When I ask you the question, what is the most important rap song with a message ever made? Just throw every answer out the window if the answer isn't this subscribe to PewDiePie song. It's a movement we can all get behind, and Crypt supporting this movement with an entire track shows that he's a good man fighting for a good cause. Seriously though, I hope this track makes it onto Lawai because it's genuinely solid as a rap song. So yeah, don't ignore the message of the song, subscribe to PewDiePie if you haven't already, and also if you came over here from my channel, don't forget to subscribe to Crypt as well. Get it high.
If I hear another song about you pop it, bills I pop up with my posse for the boss and you rapping and probably pop you in the jaw with a bit harder than move on and make you golly Lebron and Cleveland bleeding. You can feel it in your dog and all I'm all about getting high, spending the positive vibe and not beginning. How about living your life like you're gonna die and you should try to see your life with the eyes of a sober guy. Now we all know Lil Pump was laying down some hot bars on the OG version of Drug Addicts, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Crypt just managed to outwrap him with this. This one definitely reminded me a little bit of the way Joyner Lucas does his remixes, as Crypt took what the song was originally about, that being taking drugs and just overall not really caring for your health, and flipped it on its head to talk about how glorifying that lifestyle is just a little bit stupid. Especially coming from Pump, who talked so much about quitting drugs after after Lil Peep passed away, and then released Drug Addicts like six months later. Something Crypt actually covers a little bit in the lyrics here. Now I personally do like the sound of the Drug Addicts song, but yeah, that wasn't the best move from Pump. At least Crypt killed it on here though. Here we have the only featured verse that appears from Crypt on this list, but he definitely didn't give the track any less effort purely because he had a guest verse, unlike certain other rappers are known to do. In fact, it's completely the opposite. Crip turns in one of his most relentlessly quick performances on this track. The pace very rarely drops, and that's exactly what we needed over the I'm Upset beat. Tell me this doesn't sound significantly more appealing than Drake's lifeless delivery. Sure, I still don't really enjoy how dry the beat itself is, but this type of delivery just injects so much more life into it. <laughs> This track came from the video How To Make A Joiner Lucas Song, with this verse being the final result after Crypt explains some of the common themes in the writing style found in Joiner's music. Hmm, I, I really want to see if people in the comments enjoyed this as much as I did. Oh, it's uh, it's all just comments about how he looks like the white guy from the I'm Not Racist video. Sick. It is really interesting though, watching Crip's thought process throughout the video as he explains what he's gonna include or try to include in his Joyner Lucas style song, and I think he did a pretty damn good job of it, and he closes with a bang by ending with Joyner's sriracha verse. You know, just to flex the fact that he can flawlessly rap other people's fast verses as well as his own. <laughs> Here we have Crip's entry into the one take contest hosted by Futuristic, meaning that this video that you're actually watching on your screen right now is all one continuous scene, and that is pretty amazing. Like, just watching it, you'd assume there was multiple cuts, it really looks like there is, but if you watch the behind the scenes video that Crypt put up on his Twitter, it was just a case of incredible coordination and solid camera work. All done with an iPhone as well. Video aside, the song itself is a ridiculous display of wordplay, with Crypt working his way through the alphabet to pack a bunch of alliteration into his lines. As if that wasn't enough, we get a beat switch near the end and Crypt changes up to rapping a verse that makes sense forwards as well as backwards. Start to finish, it's just clearly something you put a lot of thought into, and at 11 syllables per second, it's an incredible rapid verse too. This was Crip's remix to the Nicki Minaj song Majesty, which of course contained a pretty fast verse from Eminem on the original version, a verse which is actually interpolated by old cryptocurrency here. Interestingly, both M and Crypt hit the exact same peak speed on this one, but but there's no doubt that Crypt keeps up the speed for a longer duration. I really enjoy what he came through with on here. On top of the rapping, we even get a nice little bit of singing at the start and the end as he does his own version of the hook. He did a great job at taking some of the elements of the original song and just really making them his own. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he did it. Eminem's fastest verse by my calculations, he has smashed it. Joyner Lucas's fastest by my calculations, Crypt has smashed it. Faster than Sriracha, 
faster than Rap God and faster than just most of the verses in this series. That's pretty damn impressive, especially considering the ever-improving clarity in Crypt's rapid flows. If you caught on to the lyrics in that clip, this was a diss track targeted at Machine Gun Kelly, released 10 days after MGK's Rap Devil diss aimed at Eminem. Now, did Crypt have a kind of, like, legitimate reason to drop a full-on diss track against Kelly? Not exactly, but I'm not gonna complain about another diss track against MGK. It's also a great opportunity for Crypt to flex his wordplay skills again and rapping talent, and if you don't manage to pick up on the meaning of every single bar, it's all good because he's actually annotated the whole song to explain the bars on Rap Genius. So, there we have it. Devil's Dead contains the fastest verse from Crypt, and it is a hell of a fast one. So that is going to be all for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, massive thank you to Crypt for trusting me to make a whole video for his channel. And of course, like I said during the video, if you came over from my channel, drop Crypt to subscribe. I'm assuming there will be a link to my channel in the description somewhere or something like that. So I'd really appreciate you coming and checking out my channel if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos. But at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to do. So with that being said, yeah, this was a fun video to make. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will hopefully see you over on my channel. Crypt will hopefully see you all in his next video. And this is CDTV Productions, signing out.